Let us pray. All loving God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, guide us in your grace that we may know and live the divine life of Christ, who reveals your majesty in our humanity through your anointed one, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. If I may ask you just to be seated for a few more moments, I'd like to invite President Faye up to the podium now to make a few announcements and cite a few well, we have a few announcements, and I'd like to begin with a couple of thank yous, and a major thank you to tonight's celebrant, Father Jim Morris, very special thank you and welcome to Dr. Marjorie Hill, thank you for your uplifting and moving message. And uh, thanks for a special signer, Paul Holtzmark here. And uh, thank you to um, our wonderful, wonderful choir and musicians up in the loft under the direction of Emmanuel and
have some special guests in our midst. Of course, you're all special. We're all special. And uh, normally every year we have uh, Father John McNeil and his partner uh, Charles. Unfortunately, they were unable to be with us tonight, but they certainly sent in special greetings to all of us, and we're grateful for their work. In a special way, I'd like to welcome um, the President of Dignity USA, who's traveled from Washington to be specially with us this weekend, and that's Bob Mianovich. And then you'd like to welcome
I guess. Hello, this is Will Berger, your roving reporter, just glowing from the spirit after the Gay Pride liturgy. And I'm here with Reverend Dr. Marjorie Hill. Hi. Hi. And who just gave us a very uplifting homily, which we may or may not see on the show. I leave that to the editors. And Dr. Hill, how have you been? Well, I've been very well, thank you. Happy Pride. Thank you, and happy Pride to you. Now, you were talking about how you love pride. Is that true, or were you just saying that? No, it absolutely is true. I mean, pride is an incredible moment in time for our community to really come out and celebrate who we are and to encourage our families and loved ones. And I think it's particularly important as people of faith that we come out and celebrate. So I'm especially happy to be here at Dignity tonight. Well, we loved having you come back often. Now, do you think that uh, it's surprising to gay people that there are gay people of faith? Well, I think so. I mean, actually, I think that because of some of the difficult experiences many people who are gay and lesbian and transgender have had within uh, established communities mm -hmm. of faith. Um, it is shocking that mm -hmm. there are gay Catholics and gay Baptists and gay Muslims and lesbians who mm -hmm. believe in God and worship God in spirit and in truth, but we are here. And some of us choose to do it within the context of um, special fellowships, and some of us do within the context of traditional churches, but mm -hmm. uh, we are indeed uh, very active spiritually, and uh, I would encourage your listeners who obviously have an interest because they're listening um, to connect with a congregation or a fellowship that they feel comfortable with. Now, where are you when you're not here? <laughs> well, I'm a commissioner for the New York State Workers' Compensation Board. Mm -hmm. I hear appeal cases throughout the state of New York, so I spend a little time, a little time in Buffalo and Binghamton, Syracuse, Albany. All the glamour spots. Oh, yes. Okay. And uh, where do you have a home place where you worship or do you um, move around? I am a member of Unity Fellowship Church, which is in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. It is a church that affirms gay and lesbian people um, that is a worship style in the African American tradition, but we are open to all people mm -hmm. and a large I say a significant portion of our members are not lesbian and gay or not people of color. It's it's a very interesting phenomenon. Really? Really? Now that is good. We, we would like to have an outreach program like that too. Now do you think that there's a special spirituality among gay and lesbian people? Because I get that feeling and I was wondering if you've noticed that. Well, you know, I kind of think that when you are gay and lesbian, you recognize things in other gay and lesbian people um, sort of that gaydar. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that God really is spirit, mm -hmm. neither male or female or right. bisexual or transgender or lesbian or gay, so that the essence that we recognize is spiritual. But because my eyes mm. are slanted in a particular uh, Afrocentric lesbian way, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of view, I see that God quicker than I see other gods, but it doesn't mean that I'm more spiritual, or that there's more of that kind of God. That's a good way to put it. So you see that God quicker. Yeah. But that's a good way to put it. Lesson for all of us. Now, can I say one, one more thing here? Just one more. You look terrific. This red, I think this is what our Cardinal is trying to get at and has missed it by a mile. Are you watching? Because this is what you're trying to work for, Marjorie. Well, you know, I, I believe that God loves me. And because God loves me, she expects me to look good. So I wouldn't want to be less than God expects. And that is a great message for all gay and lesbian people that I'm sure will resonate. Come back and see us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Will Berger here again. I'm trying to keep real quiet <laughs> as I'm here with, well, two very special members of our community. One is, as you can see, a very new member of our community and another a little bit more familiar. How are you, Kathy? I'm doing great. We're doing great. How are you feeling? Are you glowing? Explain it to I me mean, because <laughs> let me tell you, I and my audience are particularly <laughs> clueless about this experience. So tell us a little bit about it. The Miracle of Birth is a fabulous experience, which I highly recommend if you have really good insurance. Uh -huh. And 
he, I have the sweetest baby on the planet. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but not only is he adorable. See, isn't he adorable? Yeah. He is adorable. We but, agree on that. <laughs> he is absolutely the sweetest baby in the world. I've never been more in love. And believe me, I've been in love a lot, but yes. I've, I've never, ever been more in love that I am. See, look at that little face. I think that's, see, I want milk face. But and, oh, really? Is that what this is? See, I don't know much about this. <laughs> I. I thought this was like something you'd put your spring water in for the morning party, but I take it I'm wrong. <laughs> no, this is formula actually mixed with a little bit of breast milk, uh -huh. which we won't demonstrate now, like how all of that works. But You're welcome to. <laughs> it fits right in the little hole that's right here in front, uh -huh. and it truly really makes him stop crying when he's crying. Right, but because we're giving him the message real young that food is love, okay? Yes, absolutely. Uh, now that's formula and breast milk, formula right? Formula and breast milk. And how does the formula taste? It, just like the breast milk, actually. And how does that taste? You'll have to help me through this, Kathy. <laughs> Not like a lot of anything, really. Really? It's just sort of, you know, sort of tasteless, whatever. Oh, just as well. Like all those other bodily fluids, you know, whatever. whatever. <laughs> okay, cut on so, that. So we okay. have to cut that out. Okay. We are in church. <laughs> well, there are a lot of pictures of mothers and, ch and children here in St. Mary the Virgin, yes, so this is yes. a nice... Uh, St. Kathy the Virgin. St. Kathy the... Oh, really? The Blessed Jordan Christopher right here. Oh, so there's more to this story mm -hmm. than... All right, we'll be hearing about that. So does he keep you up at night? Really? No, he's up about twice a night, um, which is a long time for a three-week-old baby. He mm -hmm. sleeps for about four or five hours. He eats a lot. As long as I have a bottle nearby, I can go right back to sleep. And he's going to be a member of our Dignity community one way or another, which sure. means he has about 100 gay uncles and about 20 lesbian aunts, right? I was going to say all of his gay uncles were trying to get him christened today mm -hmm. during the uh, lovely Pride Mass that we just attended. Right. Both of us were noticing how fabulous Marjorie Hill looked. I love that outfit. I must know where she's She's beautiful. Is she's she beautiful. Oh, my God. Stunning. Stunning. What are you going to do? And so, let's see, how old is Jordan Christopher? Jordan is three weeks, uh, well, he was three weeks on Thursday, so he's about three and a half weeks now. Oh, that's so young. I just, I can't believe it. So, like, three and a half weeks ago, he wasn't, and now he is. Exactly. Well, he was. He was just Well, he inside. was, but not like this. He was inside. Mm -hmm. it, June is a big celebratory month for us. Not only is it gay pride, it's Jordan's birthday. Today is my birthday. Tomorrow's my really? birthday. Really? Mazel tov. <laughs> Air kiss. Okay, so Jordan is a little Gemini. Uh, Jordan, yeah, he's a little Gemini. Mm -hmm. He's a Gemini. God help us all, another one. Okay, so now what plans do you have for him? President? Pope? Well, um, currently we're thinking of putting him in the movies or print <laughs> ads just because he's so adorable. True. Uh, he's got to earn some college money because mm -hmm. Mama's going to save up half, and then Jordan needs to handle his business and get to work. You know, mm -hmm. scholarship, basketball, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. So, again, like I mentioned before, send your contributions to Dignity New York because this cute baby has got to go to college. But whatever he wants to do, whatever lights his fire, makes him happy, you know, any feeling yet about what his special calling is? Do we have a straight child, a gay child? Do we know? My mother is living in terror that he will be a gay child. We had a long discussion when she stayed with me about it. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Well, and that's all it takes, you know. And I hope the mothers in our audience, and you know who you are, <laughs> were listening to that comment. Absolutely. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you.